go. Racing into the future. These students are putting their hydrogen powered cars through their final paces, preparing for a Le Mans style endurance race over four hours. To win, it's just to stay in it as long as you can and drive the most laps. All cars must be powered by hydrogen fuel cells. Each canister holds just one gram of gas. The challenge, to build a car from scratch. Their teachers say running a micro motorsports team has greatly helped in the Year 10's STEM subjects. We have made a couple of modifications to the car just to make it more efficient, uh, such as changing the motor to, from brush to brushless. Yeah, the creativity some of these boys have brought to this subject has been amazing. You know, 3D printing parts, custom making bits and pieces for the car. Hydrogen fuel cell cars promise to revolutionise the motor industry by creating fuel from water, but full-sized versions are yet to be commercialised at scale. My dream after school was actually to become a heavy diesel mechanic. It's actually broadened my education and it's preparing me for the fact that 20 years down the line this might be what all the heavy machinery is working on. The NT team flies to the Gold Coast next month. They're hoping to repeat the effort of these students from Gladstone in Queensland, who last year reached the World Championships in the US. Look, a trip to Anaheim would be, be a, a pretty good school excursion for these boys if we can, we can get there. Territory teens hoping for a fairy tale finish. Robert Baird, ABC News.